<laughs> no, I, I came on easy jet. Actually, the first time I came to Berlin, I was a student and I came on a 26 hour bus ride. So <laughs> that makes easy jet seem like complete luxury. <laughs> I hate the way you have to pay for everything. I hate that. It's so, oh, it's so, like, you know. Yeah, and now you get to pay for that. Yeah. Oh, didn't we check in online? And now you get to pay for that. Yeah. It's just, oh, it's, it's funny. Kick them, don't you? <laughs> and you get your case and you try and stuff it into that cage. No, not it can go on the flight, actually. It fits in. You're just like, oh. Something like that, push your case into his face. I'm not paying £20 each way, it's going to bloody go in there. You know? <laughs> and then you get it in there. Then you can't get it out. <laughs> so you have to put your case and the big wire cage in the hole. <laughs> My case is still in a metal cage. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to charge for the oxygen. <laughs> God, I haven't run out of one. I haven't got any euros. Oh, <laughs> a life jacket. <laughs> life jacket, huh? <laughs> Three euros fifty for your life jacket. <laughs> under the seat anyway. <laughs> you don't know what you're feeling under there. I felt the man in the row behind. <laughs> and you have to trust, you just trust that there's a life jacket there, don't you? There might not be. With a whistle attached that you can blow to attract attention. <laughs> If you haven't noticed a plane crashing, <laughs> you're not going to notice me doing a Louis Armstrong impression <laughs> of London. <laughs> <laughs> 